I wonder what can be in this box. 23 kilograms. Lithium ion batteries, cargo aircraft only, forbidden in passenger aircraft, all the way from Hong Kong. We're going to open it up and we're going to find out what's inside. That's next on this special episode of Tiny Wonderland. Don't go anywhere. We're going in a hole. Hang on. Okay. That's okay. We're in a hole. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was. We are cooking up some bird's eye. Looks pretty good so far. Should be a few minutes before this is really good. We can't go with chains without a jump dragger up the hill. We'll worry about chains later. We call this a CTC, which stands for Cargo Trailer Conversion, or Cargo Trailer co Camper, or Cargo Trailer Crap, whatever you want to call it. It has all kinds of names. In case you're wondering what four-week-old poop looks like after it's been chemically treated, and there's your answer. A mom to 17 children, I would thought you might have had like 30 of those cards. Hi everyone and good afternoon. This is Jay from Tiny Wonderland and today we are at Utah Welders in Cedar City, Utah and Hiram and uh, Robert are here and they've graciously allowed us to get away from the flies on the farm to unbox the Zender Superbase Pro which we will be testing on our travels. It's with our trusty Sheffield knife. First of all no, I'm going to use this as a seat, whatever. I did email them and said, uh, asked them if I want, they want me to go ahead and test the features as is and then send the unit back to them and they can send me an upgraded unit. So I'll let you know how that goes. But let's get into this box, shall we? Remember, when you're cutting, always use safety glasses and uh, protection, which I'm not using any of. So <laughs> don't listen to me. Don't do as I say, do as I tell you, do as I say, not as I do, okay? All right, this is going to be a big baby, I'll bet. All right, plenty of styrofoam on the top. Ooh, the Super Base Pro 2000 fastest recharge IoT power station. Looks like it's taking a little bit of a compression beat in here, but I don't think that's going to cause a problem. Let's see the fastest way to get this thing out of the box. I'll say it would probably turn it on its side and just dump it out. Now I'm not your average tester, boxer, so I don't know a lot about how. Okay, there's that. Okay, so more packaging and foam materials. Big box, okay. Oh, she's a big baby. Okay, 2,096 watt hours or 44.8 amp hours. Just charge temperature, charge temperature. Okay, made in China. All right, let's get her boxed here. Ooh, fancy. <gasps> Look at this, more foam. More foam and how heavy is this thing? Whoa. Okay, she's definitely gonna be a little bit of a fight to get her out of there. But she's going, okay. Oh wow, whoo, holy heavy. Okay, That's, oh wow, she comes on wheels. I'm liking it already. Definitely a lot of foam. This is probably the Accessory kit. Mmm. Whoa. 
Yes. We have a... Uh... Oh, this is for solar. So we can hook it to a solar panel. That's cool. Looks like they plug right into solar. That's cool for that. Power cords plugging into the wall. And uh, another solar connector. This may be a junction connector. We're going to have to read the manual that came with it. Okay, we're going to review that. Comes with a handy dandy manual. Let's get into the case itself. Whoa! So guys, this is just basically a very large battery. That's what this is. Like if you imagine a car battery with, with fancy technology that can link to other car batteries, that's what you would have. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. This is a pretty good strong handle here. Let's turn it around. Oh my word! Whoa! Oh, isn't she pretty? Holy moly! Uh, we got. I uh, think it's gonna come on. Probably have to do something to it. Oh no! Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, 17%. 999 minutes. AC button. Okay. <clears throat> This is 13.6 volts out, PD 20 watts, okay. The question I want to know, oh, here we go. Right here, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a cigarette lighter adapter. Sweet, okay. The back doesn't really have much to it. Let's check this out. Hold on. <laughs> it's like a suitcase. Hang on, take over here. So we just kind of roll it out, I guess, to wherever you're going to go. And you'll have portable power wherever you go. You can also pick it up. The wheels seem to roll pretty rugged. I'm in a shop, so you can imagine the stuff I'm running over over here. Let's take it back over here. Oof. Oof. Okay. What I want to know is where the solar plugs in. So this says it has 17% charge. Give me a minute guys while I investigate this. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, so I did read through the manual. On the other side over here is the input. And if you look here, you can see... Ugh, I tilt that up so you could see it. Hang on. Whoa! There we go. Uh, solar voltage, 100 voltage, ground, ground fault interface, and overload protection fuse at 20 amps. So that's a little panel that keep hidden in there. And it's got some rubber feet on the bottom, which is probably a good idea because this thing's going to take a beating. Okay, so that's about it, guys. I mean, I went through the user guide. It's got a nice interface on the screen. Looks like this is some, some uh, safety plastic, which I'll leave on for a little bit. And the controls are all right here. So I'll update, you know, further once we use it more. We're going to charge it up a couple times, discharge it a couple times. Yeah, so far, Zender, thank you very much. This looks like a really cool product, and we can't wait to put it through its paces. Okay, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want more adventures on the Zender Super Base Pro and all the other stuff we get up to. See you guys next time on Tiny Wonderland. Hey everyone, Jay here. 
back from Tiny Wonderland. Uh, Robert and Hiram went home, but we're going to check on the swamp cooler, which is this boy running strictly off of this. Three point eight hours left. Well, this isn't an official test, we're just playing around with it right now, but anyway, I just wanted to close out this video with uh, a little bit of a coming back and checking this out and uh, looks like she's doing a, a humdinger. She's supposed to run this thing for six hours. Alright, well, we'll definitely come back, give you more information on this really cool product, the Zender Super Base Pro. See you next time.